Ah, le français, la plus belle langue du monde. Or is it? Salut YouTube and welcome back to the Not Even French YouTube channel, the destination on the interwebs for all things French culture, language, francophiles, and also a dash of New Zealand culture as well. Today I'm going to talk about a topic I have never seen discussed before. Although the stereotype is that the French language is so beautiful and so sexy and it sounds so fluid at all times and hey it often does but guess what there are some really freaking ugly words in the French language as well and that's what I want to share with you today what was that band that did that song U G L Y you ain't got no alibi you ugly hey hey you ugly you know that one yeah okay so we're going to talk about the ugliest French words and they're not necessarily ugly because they mean something ugly. They can be positive in meaning. It's more around the way they sound. It's more about when you pronounce them, you're like, oh, that's an ugly word. So please, as we go through, drop your faves down below, like the ones that make you think, whoa, that is bad. And also, if you want to see me embarrass myself completely, I've recently dropped a video as well. I'll link it down below, which is me attempting some of the hardest, almost difficult French words as well. So I completely embarrass myself on the internet with my pronunciation of those too. Now, if you are one of my audience members who is learning French, wants to become more fluent in French, conversational in French, either to maybe travel there again one day when we're allowed to move there, live there, or integrate better over there if you're currently already based there, then definitely listen up because this episode of Not Even French is brought to you by the wonderful team at Lingoda, my favorite way to learn a language. It's a German founded online language school and they are having one of the biggest sales of the year with 30% off their month to month and marathon language learning experiences. The reason I love Lingoda so much and so many other people love them because they have over 50,000 students across all of their languages. So you can do English, business English, French, German, and Spanish is that it's completely flexible. You can take classes 24 seven with their native qualified professors. So you're there with a native speaker, learning to speak like a local at a time that suits you. It could be early morning, lunch break, in the evening, after work, whatever. It's completely flexible, which is super cool. And also from my experience, the group classes are really small. There's only usually three to four people in the group on average, and they have a maximum of five as well. So you get plenty of attention and opportunity to speak in them as well. If you've been following my channel for a while, you will know that I used Lingoda to get me from A2, B1, all the way to B2, C1, and sit my big French exam. And I still use them from time to time to polish up my French language now that I'm back in New Zealand. So if you wanna try Lingoda yourself, what I recommend you do is you sign up for a free seven day trial in the link down below. You'll be able to try out three classes for free within seven days. Just make sure when you sign up for the seven day free trial that you put the code GET 30, this is your voucher code when you sign up for the trial so that if you do decide to continue either with the month to month classes or the marathon, that 30% discount will be applied to the first month. But otherwise, enjoy the discount and enjoy leveling up your language skills. Okay, so the first word is one of the most ugliest words in the French language and it is none other than clout, clout. Clute. It is the word for crust, as in the crusty part of the bread. How gross is that to hear? Clute. Ugh. You'll also find this word in an old fashioned French expression, which is on a cassé le clout. And that's an old fashioned way of saying we had a snack together. The next word that I honestly cannot stand is gueule. Gueule. It means the face of an animal. I don't know why the face of an animal needs to have a specific term it can't just be face <laughs> but that's what it means but how it's used i think doesn't help like how bad it sounds because you know you could say like ta gueule which is shut your face if you feel like someone's sulking you could say like ah oh, elle fait le gueule like she's sulking and if you said something like mm, j'aime pas sa gueule that's actually quite a rude way to say that someone looks like a bit of a crook the next word means old-fashioned and it's pronounced Hangar. For example, you could say, cette musique est vraiment hangarde. It's just not the prettiest word, you know? Ugh, this next one, I almost have like a visceral reaction to it because I can see the dentist like doing their job. <laughs> but the next word is 
plâtre. It's the buildup of plaque on your teeth. So for example, in a sentence, you could say, le dentiste lui a enlevé le tâtre qu'il avait sur les dents. Tâtre. The next French word I really don't like, and I think it's quite ugly and a bit gross, is caca. So caca means poop, but it's very, you know, childlike and it's what a lot of like French kids would say. They even have a little swear word for French children, this is so French, caca boudin, which is poo sausage. <laughs> And I guess that's like the childlike way of saying mad. But yeah, I just find it so infantile and gross. Caca, caca, me. What's an example? Le chat a fait caca sur le canapé. The next French word that I think sounds really quite ugly and it actually has several different sort of variations and iterations. I'll get to those, but it's crad. And it's an informal way of saying dirty. So in an example, a sentence, if you wanted to say something like, oh, this alleyway is really dirty, you could say, cette ruelle est vraiment crade. With exactly the same meaning, but it almost been even worse and amplified, I've got cradang. Cradang. It's like mixing crad and dung. Crazy. And another synonym to this word, which is hard on the air, is crassus. Crassus means the same thing, like an informal way of saying dirty, but it can also be a swear word actually. We can be like, ah, oh, casus. This word is particularly hard for me to pronounce, but it's just an, also another ugly word, I think, to add to the list, which is trung, trung. And it's an informal way of saying face. So if you said like, ouais, il a une drôle de trung, that would mean he looks weird. This one you hear every single day in France, several times a day. Another word I really think is quite ugly is bouffe. It's slang to eat. And you can also call food bouffe, la bouffe. I really don't like it. Bouffe. Oh, oui, ouais, ouais, on va bouffer au McDo. The next word on the list is a word that means toilet. So it's, you know, the informal way of saying toilet. So it's probably not, you know, ever going to be the prettiest word, but it's shit. It's like so close to the English word shit, you know, shit. It's like shit. And a fun expression for you to learn is if you say, oui, il a des goûts de shit. That would be like you saying he has very poor taste. This one is an acronym and it's pretty awful. So <laughs> it is the French way of saying papier toilette, so toilet paper, but they shorten it to say PQ. So just P and Q. And what does Q stand for? Well, nothing in particular, but the sound is like ass like the word cu in French. And so it's like PQ, like ass paper. <laughs> it's gross. Another word difficult on the ears is grumo. Ugh. And it means something gross as well. It means lumps. So like, il y a des grumo dans le lait. There are lumps in the milk. Ugh. This next word barely even sounds French to be honest. It's watte. What a. I just don't like the sound of it. It's a type of cotton and I just think it's the least French word I've heard, maybe except for pneu, which are tires, but like what a. <laughs> it sounds like a French teenager trying to be cool and like come up with a new way of saying we, you know, like we, we, what a. <laughs> now this word is one of my least favorite French words both for how it sounds and what it means. So it's an insult and it's enculé. And it's something that you would call someone like really made you mad or you hated or whatever, but it's enculé, it's an insult and it means to be sodomized. As if, you know, from back in the day where, you know, homosexuality, for example, would be the worst ever thing to be. That's where it's come from. The next word is meuf. Meuf. <laughs> so it's a way of saying femme, woman, but en verlon. Verlon is when French people mix up words and make it slang and take this first half and put it in the beginning and swap it around and make it sound a bit funny. It's just a sort of subculture in the language, if you didn't know. And I just find it so ugh as a word. And also when you see like bros broing out and they're like, oh, mec, tu vu la meuf dans le pas de côté? And you're just like, Eh, la meuf. The next word is terrible. Glare. Glare. And it's as bad as it sounds. It means flim. Il crash de glare. Ugh. The next word is casquille. Casquille, ball breaker. This is used so often in French. 
then I should really learn to love it. But I just think it's such an ugly expression, like ball breaker, especially because you just throw it around so easily in French. So you could say like, le voisin est un peu casse like the neighbor's a bit casse but your boss is casse and she's casse and you know, like so many things are casse and it's just like completely overused. So maybe that's why I find it just like, ugh, to hear now. The next French word that I find really ugly is galoche, and it's an old fashioned way of saying kiss. So if a couple's kissing in the back of the cinema, you could say, il se galoche au fond du cinéma. The next one is so gross. Les nibas. It's breasts, but it's quite vulgar. I can just imagine someone saying, oh ouais, hey, elle a de gros nibas. And I'm just like, ugh. The next word I don't like the sound of is une tranche. Ooh. And tranche is another word for saying face. My gosh, how many words are there to say face in French? Like making faces. You could say, il fait le tranche. Il fait le tranche if he's pulling faces. The next word is chiantissime. <laughs> So the word chiant means it sucks. Oh, c'est chiant. It's annoying. It actually comes from the verb chier, which is to shit. And you hear that all the time in France. Like, oh, c'est chiant, comme c'est chiant. But I think going next level to chantissime, it's just, it means like really annoying or boring. And it's super informal in terms of the left register of language, in case you didn't get that. So you could say to a friend, ce film est chiantissime. I also hate the word Earl, which means scream, Earl, like uh, ce chanteur de rock, Earl dans nos oreilles. But it just sounds like you're vomiting, right? Earl, like Earl. I really don't like it. Another ugly French word is mioche. It means brat. Regarde-moi, tu sais mioche. Next word is the informal way of saying car, and it's bagnole. <laughs> no, don't like that. I much prefer the elegant voiture. The next ugly French word is pécho. Pécho is kind of a made up word. It's actually the volant of choper, which means to grab, but it doesn't mean to grab. Basically when you use it, it means to make out. So if you say, ils se sont pécho, it means they made out. But pécho, eh. Okay, just a few left and stay with me because I would love to hear which is the worst for you of all in the comments down below. The next we have is bonne, as in good, right? As in bonne nuit, but it's when it's used to describe the looks of a woman that I think it's just so gross. Like, ouais, elle est trop bonne, la meuf. T'as vu? This word is horrendous. Bifle. <laughs> Bifle. It means cock slap because it's the contraction of beat, which means cock, and gifle, which means slap, bifle. I don't even know how to put this into a sentence. Le bif est pratique comment en école de commerce. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Now this is an ugly word for a beautiful concept, which is dusk, and it's crepuscule. Crepuscule. Like, how could you see that and be like, wow, Beautiful. I'm gonna name it Crepuscule. By the way, if you're a big fan of Crepuscule and other beautiful things, definitely go and check out Niels's Instagram at that French Kiwi guy because he takes lots of beautiful photos of New Zealand, including sometimes the Crepuscule. The next word that's pretty darn ugly is la flemme. La flemme. Can't be asked. I'm feeling lazy. J'ai la flemme d'aller faire les courses. I think it's just though because it sounds like phlegm in English. Another word that makes you a bit like ee is moquette. It means carpet. En Nouvelle-Zélande, les maisons sont remplies de moquettes. How's this one? Pustule. Pustule. It means pimple. Ugh. This one is ugly in French, but also in English. Défiqué. Défiqué. <laughs> to defecate. Here's a bit of a surprise one, it's a bit out of the box, but several people have told me they don't like the word patate for potato. Patate. Yeah, I suppose it's not the prettiest, but it's a potato. You could actually use this as a kind of cute and not that offensive insult, which is espèce de patate, which is, yeah, like you dumbass. And my last word that I find particularly ugly in the French language is queen, which means to whine. Le cochon queen. Oh, how did I almost forget this? This is the worst one of all. Whew. Okay, worst French word in my opinion, hands down. Thank you for staying till the end because this is the only way you're gonna get it. Pederast. Pederast. 
Ugh. This has Greek roots, I believe, and referred to people that would, you know, engage in orgies, and there's definitely a homosexuality kind of connotation to it as well. And the French shorten it to pede, to basically mean homo. And like, you can see them like, I feel like driving on the road and there's a near miss or something, like there's some road rage, They're like, ah, pede. I think it's so bad. Thank you so much for watching and staying to the end. I hope that you enjoyed this video on the ugliest French words from one of the most beautiful languages in the world. Let me know your favorite or least favorite, however you see it, down below in the comments. I'll definitely check those out. And otherwise, see you next week on the Not Even French YouTube channel. A bientôt!